Welcome. In this video, we'll walk you through how to create an agent in Copilot Studio that helps onboard new employees. Agents work on behalf of individuals, teams, and entire organizations to execute business processes and handle specific tasks. Begin by describing the purpose of your agent, what it will do, and the tasks it will handle. Next, confirm the generated name or create your own. Then refine your instructions. Be clear and specific about the tasks your agent should handle. Finally, if you have any public websites or files you want to use as knowledge sources, you can add them now or later. If there are further changes you want to make, you can switch over to the Configure tab and make additional changes. Once everything looks good, simply click Continue to finish setting up your agent. From here, you can add additional knowledge which further helps to infuse the agent in specific relevant information. Knowledge refers to data sources your agent can reference in its responses such as files, websites, Dataverse, SharePoint, and common enterprise knowledge sources such as Confluence. In this case, I'll be adding a SharePoint site with information like the Day 1 Checklist, Hardware Setup, and the Employee Handbook. I'll adjust the description so the agent knows when to use this knowledge source. You can test your agent now or throughout the process to refine its responses. When you want to guide conversations and direct the dialogue flow in a more structured or specific way, use topics. Topics provide more control over the conversation flow and add conditional logic to dictate how the agent responds. There are two ways you can create a topic, visually with the authoring canvas or with natural language. Let's start visually. You can define the agent's responses with a robust set of capabilities in the authoring canvas. You can add specific questions, including multiple choice options, add messages, conditional branching, access tools automation, generate responses based on configured knowledge, PFX capabilities, and so much more. Sometimes a user might ask something your agent hasn't been configured to handle. That's where Generative Answers comes in. It uses AI to help your agent respond even when there isn't a predefined topic. You can use it as a fallback so it only activates when no nodes in a topic are triggered, or create dedicated topics that rely only on generative answers. In this scenario, I'm going to add a topic for the employee handbook and set it to trigger when a user asks for information about company policies, rules, or regulations. You can decide whether the agent should rely on its general knowledge or respond based on specific knowledge sources. I'll add the employee handbook as a knowledge source. And you can define how often the agent should respond using generative answers and how relevant the responses are by customizing content moderation. Set it to low if you want the agent to always try to respond even if the answer may be a bit broader or less specific. This is great when responsiveness is more important than precision. Set it to high if you'd rather the agent only reply when it's more confident the answer is accurate, ideal for more sensitive or compliance related scenarios. Since responsiveness is more important here, I'll set content moderation to low. Going further, you can also add prompts and instructions that help your agent decide when to use generative answers, so it knows the right time and context to step in. Tools enable your agent to perform tasks or workflows from within topics, or can be a tool that your agent leverages based on the user's query when the agent's orchestration is set to generative. Generative is LLM-driven orchestration that enables your agent to adapt and dynamically change plans based on the user's responses, leveraging the various agent components that you configure your agent with, reducing escalations and making it more dynamic to support users' needs. Your agent can use tools including flows, custom prompts using natural language, model context protocols, or power platform and custom connectors. For this agent, I'll add a tool to email the admin office when a new employee requests a badge. Once I've selected the tool, I'll click Add and Configure. Next, I'll add the recipient, subject, and message. Once your tool is added, you can update the instructions so the agent knows exactly when to trigger it. This is most critical when you're creating autonomous agents. In this example, I'll specify that the email should be sent when a user requests a badge. Now when a badge is requested, an email is sent instantly to the admin office. 
When you finish testing and are ready, you can publish the agent to various channels such as Microsoft Teams and M365 Copilot, a custom website, or a social media channel like Facebook, and more. And once deployed, you can track performance using the built-in analytics. These tools help you monitor the health of your agent and understand how you can improve your agent based on important KPIs like resolution, escalation, and abandonment rates. You can learn from trend analysis to see how your knowledge is doing, how often each source is being leveraged, and see what the user satisfaction score is for their experience with your agent. With Copilot Studio, you can build specialized intelligent agents to transform and execute business processes. Find this video and more in the Mastering Copilot playlist and start creating your own agents today at aka.ms slash try Copilot Studio.